How to Become a Developmental Therapist Developmental therapists are part of the early intervention team. They work with the family, the service coordinator, and other therapists to meet the outcomes of the child's Individualized Family Service Plan, IFSP. As a developmental therapist, you will assess and evaluate young children with disabilities, assist in the development of the IFSP, and provide direct services to the child and family. You may provide families with education, training, and support in your role as developmental therapist. You will work with the family and other team members to develop and carry out activities that enhance the development of skills addressed in IFSP outcomes. Before you submit an application for a developmental therapy credential, you need to determine if you meet three main requirements for the credential. You must hold a qualifying degree, have training in the use of a formal assessment tool that would allow you to perform global evaluations, and be able to document educational experiences in each of the four early intervention core knowledge content areas. Here is more detail about each requirement. Holding a qualifying degree. Individuals applying for a developmental therapist credential must have a bachelor's degree or higher in early childhood, early childhood special education, special education, special education, deaf, hard of hearing, or blind, partially sighted, child development, early intervention, elementary education, or an EI approved equivalent. If you have a special education degree for deaf and hard of hearing, you may apply for the EI Specialist Developmental Therapist Hearing Credential. You may also provide developmental therapy services as well as oral rehabilitation services based on your qualifications and experience. If you have won a bachelor's degree or higher in orientation and mobility, or two, a special education degree for blind and partially sighted, you may apply for an EI Specialist Developmental Therapist Vision or EI Specialist Developmental Therapist Orientation and Mobility Credential. Based on your qualifications and experience, you may provide DT Vision services related to visual functioning as well as developmental therapy services. Training in the use of a formal assessment tool. Applicants must also submit proof of training on the use of a formal assessment tool that would allow the provider to perform global evaluations assessments. An updated listing can be found on the Provider Connections website. Educational experience in the early intervention core knowledge content areas. To be credentialed as a developmental therapist, you must document completion of the educational experiences as approved by the Department of Human Services that include at least two semester college hours or the equivalent, 30 clock hours or CEU credit hours in each of the following core knowledge content areas. Development of young children, 15 clock hours for typical and 15 clock hours for atypical, working with families of young children with disabilities, intervention strategies for young children with special needs, and assessment of young children with special needs. These hours may be taken from college transcripts and or approved training sessions. These core areas are focused specifically on children birth to three with special needs. Documentation submitted must specifically focus on this population. An official transcript or transcripts will need to be sent with your application. College coursework must show a minimum of 15 clock hours spent on this birth to three with special needs population to receive credit. Official College Transcripts To determine how many of the core hours you have completed, check your transcript against the Core Knowledge course search on the Provider Connections website. Select the school you attended. All approved courses from that school will appear. For example, this applicant graduated with a B.S. in Child Development Early Childhood Education from Northern Illinois University, which is a qualifying degree. She took Communicative Disorders 403 Language Development in Children, which has been approved two semester hours in Typical Development. Continue this process for other classes you took. If you took a course that does not appear on the listing, it may be that the course has not been submitted for approval. 
Submit a syllabus from the course along with a transcript when applying for a credential. A syllabus is considered valid only if it is dated within two years of when the course was taken. Catalog course descriptions are also accepted but do not contain as much detail as a syllabus does to help in determining course content. If you do not meet the core requirements with college courses, you may count workshop hours. All workshop hours must be approved through the EI training program. In this example, Amy attended the 2011 Sharing a Vision Conference in Springfield, Illinois. You may check the training program's website at eitp.education.illinois.edu. Click the Training Events tab to get to the Training Events calendar. Enter the appropriate information and click Search. We find the two sessions Amy attended were each awarded 1.5 hours in the area of families for a total of three hours. To request contact hours for workshops that do not appear on the past trainings approved for EI credit list, the sponsoring agency must submit an EI training activity request form to the EI training program. Information can be found on the EI training program's website under credit requests. Please note that processing can take up to 30 business days. If you do not meet the core knowledge requirements through college coursework and workshops, you will need to get additional hours either through college courses and or workshops. Documentation of early intervention system overview training and the completion of background checks are part of the credential application process. A certificate of completion of online system overview must be included in your credential application packet. Documentation of the one-day face-to-face follow-up session must be received by Provider Connections before a credential will be awarded. You may send proof of completion of the one-day follow-up session via mail, email, or fax. Once you have met the requirements for a developmental therapist, you may submit an early intervention credential application and a CBO enrollment application. Your application will be reviewed. Credential and enrollment application material can be found on the Provider Connections website. Developmental therapists must also enroll in Healthcare and Family Services Impact System. Please refer to Provider Connections Impact Guidelines found on our webpage to assist you with the process. If you meet all the qualifications, your application will be considered in process. The Child Abuse and Neglect Tracking System Authorization Form will be sent to the Department of Children and Family Services DCFS, for processing only after all qualifications are met, including a complete Central Billing Office CBO enrollment application. The DCFS process takes 8 to 12 weeks. A fingerprint-based background check authorization form will be sent to you so you may complete this portion of the background check by having your fingerprints taken at an authorized live scan vendor. Provider Connections staff check state and national sex offender registries. Once the background checks are complete and we have received your receipt, you will be issued your credential. When you have met all the credential application requirements, you will be issued a temporary credential. This credential will be in place for 18 months during which you must meet the consultation requirement. When that requirement has been met, you will receive a full specialist credential. Developmental therapists must complete consultation while providing 240 hours of direct developmental therapy service to children ages birth to three and their families. DT vision, orientation and mobility DTs, and DT hearing need only provide 120 hours of service. Another way of thinking of this requirement is that the 240 hours would be completed in a six-week period if a DT has a full-time schedule of 40 hours a week. The DT must consult with another developmental therapist. The consultant must determine that you have demonstrated compliance with professional standards. Consultation hours are submitted using the consultation verification form in the credential application packet either upon application or within an 18-month temporary credential time. 
All credentialed providers are required to participate in ongoing professional development with another specialist level credentialed provider. This consists of monthly meetings conducted face-to-face -face or over the telephone. Case reviews take place to ensure the use of best practices. Documentation of such meetings must be submitted when completing the requirements for the temporary credential and upon credential renewal. Documentation must include at least one signature for every meeting during the credential period. A minimum of 75% of meetings must be completed. Both the consultation verification form and the ongoing professional development documentation form can be found in the credential application packet. If you have any questions, please call us at 800-701-0995.